DW Radio, your information station. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the WDW Newscast. I am Lou Mangello from WDWRadio.com. I'm also the author of the Walt Disney World trivia books, host of WDW Radio, author of the audio guides to Walt Disney World, publisher of Celebrations Magazine, and I'm sure I'm forgetting something else, but today is Wednesday, April 20th, 2011, and this is the WDW Newscast. It is a live, interactive news broadcast where you can come by in the chat room and comment and discuss the news real time in the chat room. Join us every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern at WDWNewscast.com. Don't worry, if you can't catch the show live, you can come by Keep the conversation going either on our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash WDW Radio or on the WDW Radio blog over at WDWRadio.com. Be sure and follow me also on Twitter. I am at Lou Mangello and come by and join the friend page over on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash WDW Radio. Tonight's episode is sponsored by our friends over at touringplans.com. They are the research team and the brains behind the unofficial guide to Walt Disney World. They've got crowd calendars and wait times and lots more. But now, and keeping in sort of the theme of what we're going to be talking about tonight, they've got something else special as well. Be sure and check out startourslive.com. There you can find out uh, everything going on as far as the opening of Star Tours 2.0, including somebody reporting from Star Tours every day about wait times and soft openings. They've got a first tour to Aldron event and so much more. And also, if you are an iPhone user, you can also check out the Star Tours 2 Live iPhone app, which I believe is already in the Android store. I think it's coming to the iPhone store pretty soon. But again, you can check them out over at startours2live.com. So obviously tonight, because of what we're talking about, because of the Star Wars Geekly shirt, we are talking about Star Tours. The adventure continues. The countdown has officially begun as it opens on or about May 20th. Who knows? There may be some soft openings coming ahead of time over in Walt Disney World. Uh, the excitement is really starting to build as Disney is starting to reveal more details about the attraction in some very interesting ways as well. Last week, they launched the official Star Tours Facebook fan page, and one of the things they revealed there were five images from the various destinations of the attraction. We have confirmation now that in addition to Tatooine and Coruscant, really the busiest city in the universe, you're going to go to an underwater city in Naboo, Jar Jar Binks, not sure, the Wookiee home of Kishik and the Ice World of Hoth, which, according to the, the uh, image, still looks like it's under attack from those pesky Adat walkers. They also announced on the Facebook fan page Star Tours 3D Florida Sneak Peak Events, which is a four-city mall tour going on now between the opening on May 20th. The first event took place in Miami at the Aventura Mall this past Saturday. You can actually find some coverage of that event over at StarToursLive.com. April 30th, they'll be at the Orange Park Mall in Jacksonville. May 7th, at the Westfield Citrus Park Mall in Tampa. And May 14th, in Orlando at the Florida Mall. Events run every day, uh, I'm sorry, on those days from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Now, at the mall, uh, over in Miami, they also displayed a QR code that you can scan with your iPhone or smartphone that also led people to the new Star Tours mobile website, which is it gives you another look at the five destinations, including the Death Star, which is going to be hovering over the planet Geonosis. If you are a Star Wars uh, fan, those names will definitely be very familiar to you. There's also a promotional video for the tour, downloadable phone backgrounds, and a list of some of the characters you can encounter. Of course, we know about C-3PO and R2-D2. But according to the website, you'll also be encountering Yoda, Darth Vader, Chewbacca, and Princess Leia. Probably not in her gold slave bikini. There's also a phone number, of course, that leads you over to Walt Disney World at 407-WDW-7212. If you want to book your vacation to come down for Star Wars weekends. Uh, there's also been some questions online based on some of the promotional materials that have come out, which is, 
What is it going to be called? We've heard it called everything from Star Tours 2.0, Star Tours 2. Uh, the official title seems to be Star Tours The Adventure Continues, but a lot of it's also being called Star Tours 3D. Not really a big deal, just interesting. You know, we call Toy Story Mania, Toy Story Midway Mania. There's Expedition Everest, Legend of the Forbidden, sometimes B-Mode Yeti. So name all that important, just going to be interesting to see. Uh, again, the attraction opens officially on Friday, May 20th, over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. If you are going to be there that weekend, don't forget, we are going to have a WDW Radio Meet of the Month on Saturday over at Disney's Hollywood Studios. At the Backlot Express, right next to Star, Star Tours, we'll be outside at the lower level seating area. We'll meet at 11 o'clock, get together, chat probably eat and of course probably ride star tours as well you can visit disneymeets.com for more information the disneyland version is going to begin soft openings on or about may 20th but that will officially open on friday june 3rd now with the official news that's coming out there's also the resurgence of some rumors and again these are very very much rumors Please do not go in with any expectations that these are coming or will certainly be there for the opening of Star Tours. But for years, we've heard about an expansion, possibly of Disney's Hollywood Studios in that Backlot Express area and even behind that area to more of a Star Wars-themed land, uh, really more beyond just the four walls of the Star Tours attraction. We've heard that the Backlot Express may be rethemed to something like a Moss Eisley Cantina, Big, big thumbs up from me for that. Uh, also hearing something like from Star Wars Episode One, kind of like a space junkyard. Um, think about something that you might have found over on Tatooine. In order to do that, there's also talk about moving some of the entrance ways into Disney's Hollywood Studios, the roadways, in order to accommodate that space, as well as a possible additional attraction, uh, more theming to the land, some next-gen interactive technology. Who knows if that's coming Maybe it's something that we'll hear announced at the opening, or at least hinted to. So, I'm looking in the chat room. Uh, people are very, very excited, not only about the opening of Star Tours 2, but of course rumors about what may come in the future. They've closed down Tatooine Traders as well for some minor refurbishments. Who knows how that may be rethemed, what kind of new merchandise, of course, we're going to see come in there once Star Tours reopens. But I want to ask people in the chat room, and if you are watching on YouTube or on WDW Radio, how excited are you, if at all, for the opening and the coming of Star Tours 2.0? Is it something that in and of itself is going to is going to let you uh, plan a special trip down? Uh, maybe an, another excuse to come by and check out Star Wars weekends this year. Very, very, very excited. Are the uh, is the chat flying by saying um, how it is coming? My son is ecstatic. I'm ecstatic. It's huge for me. My cousins can't wait. Um, is this something that would make you come down or when you heard about it would make you come down and take a special trip down maybe for the first time experience Star Wars weekends if so how do you think it might affect the Star Wars weekends crowds you know now you're going to have really another e-ticket attraction in D Disney's Hollywood Studios Toy Story Mania of course probably the most attraction most popular attraction there on Sunset you still have Tower of Terror and Rock and Roller Coaster. Now on this side of the park, you really have, uh, a, for a lot of people, the Gate Buster e-ticket attraction. What do you think, though, about um, the expansion of Disney's Hollywood Studios? Uh, of course, we all love to see the parks grow, but what would you think about something like a Star Wars-themed land? Sort of taking maybe some of the elements from Star Wars Weekends, keeping them there on a permanent basis. I think we all like the idea of a Star Wars-themed restaurant. Moss Eisley Cantina got a lot of people excited. Some great opportunities there for entertainment, for theming, for food. Uh, talk about the immersive experience that they can easily build right into that area of, Star of, uh, of Disney's Hollywood Studios, sort of crafting that area uh, to be Tatooine uh, or to be sort of that spaceport that you can go and eat and drink before you get on your Star Speeder 1000. Um, if so, what would you like to see? And this is what I want to kind of leave you with is what would you like to see, first of all, for Star Wars 2.0, the adventure continues, and or for the expansion of Disney's Hollywood Studios to a more Star Wars themed land? Um, 
some people would really like that. They said that, uh, Mini Lore says they don't do Rock and Roller or Tower of Terror, so it, that makes Disney's Hollywood Studios a half-day park for us. If you have sort of a new land, a whole new area to explore, that might make it a full-day park for you. Mark Vitek says it succinctly, awesomeness at its best. I am uh, very much in agreement w uh, with you. Um, Leaf Fan 23 says, like the Star Wars idea, what about the remover of a larger Pixar land or Cars land? Maybe something like a Star Wars land in the same sort of vein as a Cars land that, that's coming over to Disneyland next year. Um, Kurt from Illinois, what about the Osborne family holiday light in Cloud City? I love it. I love it. So uh, there is a lot that they can do. Navy Mouse, said he's heard rumors about taking out Indiana Jones. Uh, who knows? I mean, that's a huge soundstage. They can certainly do a lot with that area. I would love for you guys to play Imagineer for not just a day, be Imagineer for a year. What would you like to bring into this expansion of the Star Wars experience in that section of Disney's Hollywood Studios? Um, there is a lot that you can do there. Dining, shops, shows over at that stage attractions, exhibits, walkthroughs, um, you know, changing kind of uh, exhibits that you can have. Remember, this is a, uh, a movie studio, so you can do a lot with that Star Wars franchise. Remember, Clone Wars is still going very strong. There's a whole new generation that's be still being introduced, my son and daughter included, at five and seven to the Star Wars universe. Um, they're releasing them in 3D, Blu-ray, high def this year. So uh, the franchise is still going very, very strong. Again, Mary Jo says, Star Wars, very relevant now with the Clone Wars, is very current. My five-year-old nephew can't get enough. My nine-year-old loves it too. Mary Jo, I know you too have your Star Wars Force Effects lightsaber at home like all good Disney fans and Star Wars fans do. But again, Star Wars Universe still runs the gamut whether you, you are 3, 30, or 90. Uh, there is something for Star Wars for everyone. I think the expansion of Hollywood Studios into a themed land like that, like what they're doing out at California Adventure, having that Cars Land type experience would be the perfect fit, uh, really invigorate that section of Disney's Hollywood Studios and bring that immersive type of experience. I, of course, for one, would be very excited about a Moss Eisley Cantina bar and restaurant. We never got our Muppet restaurant, Disney. This is a great opportunity for you here. But again, I wanna hear from you. Come to WDW Radio, click on this week's WDW Newscast or comment over on youtube.com slash WDW Radio. What do you think about Star Tours 2.0? How excited are you for it? Are you going to be there on opening weekend? And if so, I hope to get a chance to meet you at the meet of the month. And what, what do you also think about the potential changes that may come to Disney's Hollywood Studios as a result of a possible Star Tours expansion? Thanks again to our sponsors. Don't forget touring plans. Go check out StarToursLive.com. Make sure you also check out their iPhone app uh, for the time leading up to and after the opening of Star Tours 2 over at Disney's Hollywood Studios and over in Disneyland as well. Want to thank them for sponsoring the show. Want to thank you guys for coming by and watching in the chat or if you're watching on YouTube or on the website. Once again, I am Lou Mangello from WDW Radio. Thanks for watching and may the force be with you. Shh.